السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today we shall talk about the universality of Rumi's Masnavi. Okay, and uh, throw light on the university. Why Rumi's Masnavi became so famous all over the world? Rumi's universal love can be explained by these verses of Yunus Emre, who was his contemporary. I love all the creations because of the creator. As a matter of fact, all the Sufi poets of Khurasan school, Turkish and Persian, had the same idea or trend. Later, Indian also joined the motto. Rumi's magnum opus Masnavi reflects the same idea. It covers the Quranic verses and sayings of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and the teachings of Hakim Senai and Fariduddin Attar. It is for this reason that the famous mystic poet of Iran, Mullah Abdurrahman Jami, wrote these lines for his Masnavi. Masnaviye Mawlaviye Mawnavi has the Quran dar zubane pehlavi. The spiritual Masnavi of the Holy Master is Quran in Persian. Masnavi comprises about 25,618 verses in the same meter and is decorated with fables of to avoid boredom. This tinges it with Indian philosophy. Rumi's love for humanity is not like the humanism of the West. It depends on the unipower of God's creation. In other words, if you want to love God, and appreciate his creation, then you must love all kinds of creation, regardless of self-interest. In this view that reflects Greek, Roman, Hindu, and other beliefs that were welcomed at the Khurasan school under the concept of tolerance and love. Let's now give some examples to prove our statement. India and Pakistan. We start with that. Masnavi drew particular attention in India where Buddhism and Hinduism prevailed. Where there emerged many similarities between Kalila and Dimna, Bhagavad Gita, Panchatantra and Masnavi. They are interrelated. In India, the teachings of Rumi opened wider gates for the spreading of mystic Islam. Below are some examples. Lord Krishna says in his Bhagavad Gita, sorry, says in Bhagavad Gita, crazily flowing rivers become silent when they reach the ocean, they stop. The desires of a perfect man are the same. He has reached tranquility and peace by eliminating his ego. This is from Bhagavad Gita. Human being cannot attain real peace unless he gets rid of self-desires and mental worries. When he achieves full freedom from the physical attachments, he begins to conceive divine knowledge. The one who worships worldly riches will be resurrected with them. Those who worship their ancestors and will be raised with them after death. Those who worship ghosts and spirits they will be also raised with them. But those who worship God will live with him forever. This is what Mughmat Gita says. There are some verses in the Quran that have similar ideas. You have gone from me and shall return to me. Those who want to come to me, they will certainly be not be deprived of this. God is hearer and watcher. Yet many on earth become captive of earthly desires and forget God. It is known in the Middle East and Anatolia Sufi master Najamid Tin Kubra and Ahmed Yesevi disciples and, and Khawajans of India, Khawajagan of India, 
had great influence on Rumi's missionary. The love of God and concept of a perfect man were their major interests. The Indian and Pakistan mystic poets followed Rumi's teachings, which reached its peak by Muhammad Iqbal and even Tagore, Rabindranath, and in the Far East. They all form a triangle between Turkey, Khorasan, and India. It's a good link of love. The concept of Nay and Lord Krishna, this is the heading, many centuries ago, flute was shown as a favorite music instrument of Lord Krishna. According to him, the holes of the flute represents the conscious intellect and ego of a man. If you empty your insight from the ego like the flute, God comes and blows it, and all creatures around are intoxicated by its sound. And there's a story told about it. The friends of flute asked, oh, why Krishna loves you so much and carries you with him all the time? The flute answered, Krishna is my source of power, he sings songs with me, and you all get intoxicated. Actually, friends, if you too give up being proud of your super qualities or your assets and, f and families like me, Lord Krishna will fill your veins and cells with his love. He will never leave you alone. He will sing songs of peace and love with you. Now we turn to the Greek and Roman elements. We also find some Greek and Roman elements in the Masnavi. Some Greek philosophers had been influenced by the Indian philosophy. For instance, Pythagoras, Zenon of Cyprus, Zenos of Cyprus, we can say also, and Socrates all felt in, uh, felt in Rumi's Masnavi, are felt. They are there in the Mesnevi. Socrates' philosophy, Noske Te Ipsum of Delhi, of Delphi, sorry, not Delhi. First of all, you know yourself is also dominant in the Mesnevi. It is also noticeable that there are some parallelism between Hellenistic and, uh, and Rumi's teachings. There are. But some of these elements are found in the Quran and sayings of Prophet Muhammad I am near to your jugular vein, and he who knows himself knows God. In reality, many such elements can be discovered in the whole Islamic mystic philosophy. It's dominant there. Largest part of these mystic teachings are found in Rumi's Masnavi. To attain the celestial knowledge, one has to limit desires and love God's creation without discrimination and sacrifice oneself for these, this purpose. In addition to this, one should be in love with the invisible entity and his world. And this is what Rumi says, Tarahat zayn akhl pur hirsu talab sad hazaro aklu binad bul ajab to gain strength, thousands of intellect, one has to give up this wanting, greedy, physical intellect. The way that leads to God is to respect human beings, first of all. If you don't respect, you cannot get the love of God. And Rumi says, refinement of manners is the fundamental rule for Rumi. He says, as khoda. Let us pray to God to give us fine manners, for an in mannered is deprived of his leniency. An ill mannered does not waste himself only but he puts the entire universe on fire without mercy. And he ends up with this. As adab purnur gashtin falak, was adab masum malak. By means of fine manners, 
enlightened is the sky by means of the manners angel are f angels are filled with innocence and decency. Another factor that holds Rumi above all other Sufi is love for God. Since divine love is eternal and above all other beliefs, it is beyond worldly traps and religions. And he says, Millati ish as hami millat judast, ashankara mazhabu millat khudast. The nation of love is above all nations. For lovers of God, nationality and religion is only God. I think we will talk about uh, love of God in Rumi's Masnavi in the next lectures. And they are very, this is a very prolonged discussion. It is evident that Rumi is a center for divine and human love and has impact on thousands of Sufi poets all over the world, even including United States of America and England. I am sure this cooperation between the Konya Central Municipality and Kate Okarata University will place the shining star of the universal love at the top of the mountain where it deserves. Let me finish my speech with the verses of Muhammad Iqbal, the national poet of Pakistan. Rumi's ideas sit with the moon and stars. His eyes look further off than the star Pleiades. Hand over your restless heart to him, because from his saying, sayings one can gain the vibration of Mercury. They can shake up. Thank you very much.